Hello and welcome to another Ultimate Game Host video tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about some config variables that you can set in your server config to uh, kind of optimize the performance and just give a general overall good performance for most of the players that connect to your server. Um, so if we'll take a look at some of the commands that we're going to use, we'll take a look at the console here and we'll try some of them out. And the first one we'll talk about is uh, XSV under bar max rate. As you can see, it's the max bandwidth rate allowed on the server. Right now it's zero for unlimited. And the, another command, we'll just go through them here, is SV under bar min rate. And the minimum rate right now is 3500. And this is where what clients can do is set how much traffic they're using when they're going to the server. So if your min rate is really low, like if you set the min rate to something like 10 or whatever, some clients could come on there and manipulate their rate commands in game. We'll talk about those in the next tutorial. And they could potentially create their own sort of lag for their player, which may or may not give them an advantage. But it can be annoying and it can also cause performance issues. Uh, another good one is max update rate with the SV in front of it. Right now on this server it's set to 60 as a default. Um, and just like the other, the other command, there's a minimum with that too. So SV min update rate currently set to 10. Uh, the update rate's how fast the client pulls the uh, server information, how many times it will query. The max command rate and the min command rate is how fast the clients, each client is a player connected to your game, will actually update the server with what they're doing, their information. Um, another good variable to set is the SV underbar client underbar min underbar interp underbar ratio and that's currently set to 1. Um, I typically like to set that to 0 because that lets people with the right rate bind combinations which we'll show in the next tutorial you can get your uh, your lerp down to 0 which means that the hitboxes for the players aren't lagging behind where they're moving at all. I'll put some links in the description for some of the um, the other commands that are available. And the last one is FPS max. And right now it's set to 300. Generally I like to put that to uh, 600. So let's go ahead and, and actually change these variables, get out of the FT, uh, HLW, and open up the FTP. And this is that same shortcut I'd used before for the um, my server that we set up in the previous tutorials. And as you might suspect, we just want to go into the config directory and download our server.cfg. I'm going to go ahead and open this folder and then open up this file. Let me size a little bit here. And let's go ahead and add some of these variables in there. So we've got SV max rate. The value I like to use for that is 30,000. The SV min rate, I like to use 25,000 for that. It gives a good range so that people with lower strength connections can still use their lower rates, but it'll force everyone up to a rate that is livable. <clears throat> for everyone on the server. And you can experiment if you get certain players with DSL connections or lower grade cable connections complaining about lag and whatnot. You can play with these variables to give them more of a range to play within and to perform within. And then the SV max update rate. I like to set that to 101. I'll show you why in the, um, the later tutorials. And we'll just go through the rest of these. Min update rate. I like to put that around 50. Max command rate, 101 again. Min command rate, uh, 50. And the SV client min interp ratio, like set to zero. And the FPS max for the server, let's just throw that at 600. And we can save that file. And I'm going to go ahead and upload those changes to the server. So we'll go ahead and do an upload and we'll overwrite. That's done. Pull HLSW back up here. We can execute that config. So we'll do exec server.cfg. 
to make all those commands take effect. And now when we check some of those we've been looking at before, client min interp ratio is now zero. The minimum update rate is 50, as we said. Uh, max rate 30,000. So we've we've set all of these variables. They put them in the config. Now when the server reboots, they'll automatically be there each time. So you won't have to type them all in again or do the exec thing again. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll go over the client side of these commands and look at NetGraph a little bit and see how these affect the overall performance in the game server.